In this video, I'll be painting this winter landscape using salt to create a unique effect. I'll be using this really beat up one and a half inch flat brush to first wet the paper so I could begin to paint the sky wet on wet. The sky will be mostly cobalt blue with a little bit of raw sienna to create that glow. Okay, time for the salt. This is going to create some really interesting winter sky effects. For the best effect, the paper has to be pretty moist in order for this to work. We'll let that sit, and once the paper is dry, we'll dust the salt off. Since the lightest part of the painting is way back on the horizon, I've got to darken in the foreground. Now the shadows on the snow can get pretty dark. Here's a photo for reference. As my mentor used to say, you can't have a light without having a dark. Now I'm painting this on a cold winter day, which in this case is to our benefit because the paper's not drying as fast which allows us to create these nice, soft edges. There's very little detail here, so the effect I'm going for are trees off in the distance somewhere. Now I'll use some ultramarine blue with some browns to paint the sides of the painting darker, which will push the viewer's eye toward the center of the painting because the eye likes to wander toward the lightest parts of the painting. I'm here I'm using clean water to try and feather the tops of the trees to make it look like little branches. And now I'm going to try to achieve the same effect on this side. It's usually darker at the bottom of the woods, so I'm starting to define those areas now. If you'll notice, I'm also leaving little areas where the light is shining through the trees to make the painting a little more interesting. This isn't freshly fallen snow, so I'm adding browns for twigs and all kinds of mud and things like that along the side of the road. Same idea here, using darker paint along the edges of the painting to frame the painting to hopefully push the viewer's eye toward the lighter parts of the painting, which is the center of the painting. And some effect for maybe oh, some ruts in the road for some additional interest.
All right, now that the paper is dry, I'm gently removing the salt from the paper with a fresh paper towel and apparently my hand. Wow, check out these amazing effects caused by the salt. I'm using a small flat brush to begin to paint in the trees in the foreground. Notice how dark the trees are from the reference photo because the light is all the way in the back on the horizon and not shining on the trees. Now I'm going to switch to my trusty rigger brush to paint in some of the finer details like smaller branches. Now a little bit of burnt sienna to brighten up the tops of these trees. I'm going to throw up that reference photo again. You'll notice there are way more trees in the photo than what we're painting. You don't want to paint too many trees because that'll make the painting look a bit too busy. more saplings here using the rigor brush and uh, that should uh, finish it up. All right, maybe just a few more shadows. I just couldn't help myself. I hope you've enjoyed this painting and uh, let me know what other paintings you'd like to see. Thank you for watching.